Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler, and welcome to Saguaro Ranch. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my resale app. Up above is the link to my new construction website. You can go to either one of those links or scan the QR code with your mobile phone and it will take you straight to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So, like I said, we are at Saguaro. This is a KB home, but before we talk about this one, if you're thinking about buying new, you're considering buying new, you want to buy new construction, give me a call right away. Give me a call before you call the builder, before you email them, before you go see the sales associates in person and check out the models, because the sales associates actually represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So if you want representation, give me a call. I need to call on your behalf. I need to go with you the first time. And fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission. The builder does. So one more reason to give me a call. I'm going to spin around and throw a map up of where we are. We are in Las Vegas today. If you know anything about the valley, we're like a mile or so away from South Point. So we are in the south, getting kind of close to the center, but definitely in the south, right off the 15th. But today we are looking at a KB home, new construction called Landings at Saguaro Ranch. This one we're gonna be looking at today is the 1590 model. Now this is two story, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. This one's gonna start at 447,990. Now do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, if you wanna stay up to date on the tours, make sure to subscribe. Now coming on in, I was told by the sales associate that they still have quite a few lots left. Now average lot is gonna be $14,000 for the lot premium. The HOA is $51 a month. Now this is a gated community. Before we get into it, I'm gonna show you right here, we have a bathroom. And most people are putting about 20 to $45,000 in options and whatnot. I'll go through and tell you the options. So right off the bat, you come in the front door, you have your powder room, you have your toilet and your pedestal sink. Not bad. Now I know this home, just because I know KB products, this one does not have a lot of options in it. Not, not a lot of upgrades either. So this is pretty standard for what the home's gonna look like. This has the eight foot ceilings, the six foot eight doors. You can option for nine foot ceilings. Here's your coat closet. Nine foot ceilings, a bigger slider, all of the goodies. You can option up with the countertops, with the cabinetry, but we'll keep talking about it. Let's go ahead and come on upstairs. Now, one thing for sure this house has is it has upgraded flooring. Usually you're gonna get carpet pretty much everywhere in the house, except for the wet areas. Entry, laundry, laundry kitchen, and bathrooms. So, coming on up, not bad. They do even have an option for a railing or a banister instead of just the pony wall. Right there looks to be our primary, but before we get into it, let's check out this. So right here we have our upstairs laundry room. So you have your area for your washer, you have the dryer right here. This will be standard if you wanna option up. You can put different cabinetry up here. They're gonna match whatever you pick for the kitchen. So you can do cabinets, just note, that is an upgrade. Right here, we have our upstairs bathroom. So, same cabinets. I already know these cabinets are not soft closed. If you want soft closing cabinets, go to Lowe's or Home Depot, get new, hard, or, um, new hinges, and you can change them out. So we have our sink. Interesting, I know I always joke about the medicine cabinet, and they are doing it here. But, right here, we have our toilet. And we have our tub shower combo. Now it is a fiberglass composite, so no tile. One of the nice things is it's easier to clean. There's no grout. So backing on out right here, bedroom number one. Let's hit the light. Oh, must have burnt out. So you have a full size bed, two nightstands. You can actually cheat the bed either direction and get a desk in here. Decent size room. Nice big window. Now, depending on your elevation, which is the exterior look of the home, there might be a little bit of a bump out right there, but not a bad room. And it does have a little walk-in closet. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of small, but what you can do is move that bar and shelf up. 
and double your closet space. Now I will be honest, this room, if you do put the desk, you might have a hard time getting a dresser in. Maybe if you cheat the bed this way, do a little nightstand and desk, you could do more of a vertical dresser, but eh, it might get a little crowded in here. Coming on out of the first bedroom, right here I'm guessing linens. Yep, so you have your one, two, three, four. They just did four shelves in this one. Usually there's five, but again, if you need another shelf, you can always add another. And this one again being the eight foot ceilings, well upstairs will always be eight, but downstairs you could option for nine. Second bedroom. It's basically the same size as the first one. However, the shape of the room is the opposite. So the window made the room, you can put the bed on that wall. It's just, since the way the layout is with the window there, you're gonna basically have to do this. Now, you can see that this layout almost works better, but you're gonna have to have a smaller bed. So full or twin size bed, nightstand, nightstand, and actually a really big desk. You could definitely get a dresser right here. But coming on in, let's check the closet again. So this closet might be like six inches wider than the last one. But again, very, very similar, same size room, basically same size closet, same size everything. But coming on out, we do have our loft area. So this would have been good for 2020 when everyone was staying home, teaching from home, whatnot. I know my mom's an elementary school teacher and everything was via Zoom, but wow, actually huge, huge room. King size bed, nightstand, nightstand. I love the windows. I actually really like the wood little touch right here, but you could see. Now I can't promise that view will always be there because that is a lot. They're gonna build a house back there, but you can see the mountains, you can see all the way into the south of the valley. But if we spin around, this room's really big. You even have the bench, you have a night or a dresser, nice. Nice big, big room. Coming on in to our primary bathroom. Now, interesting. I think, I know in other communities they have the option to either put this door in and then completely close this off, which I feel like a lot of people would still want this closed off for the uh, water closet. But again, same cabinets as in the kitchen, same countertops. And then we have our optional this is gonna be standard tub shower combo. It is an oversized tub, but you can do an optional tub and shower, or you can get a big shower. They do have a couple of options in the bathroom. But coming on back out, we have our closet, and it's actually a pretty nice size closet compared to the other two. This is actually a really nice size closet. Again, the home's just under 16 square feet, or 1600 square feet. But again, if you need to move these up, add a second one you can. Maybe leave this one in case you have longer gowns or suits and whatnot, but I'm actually impressed with how big that closet is. Hmm, I kind of like when I saw it with the door here, just because again, then the other person can still use the bathroom and you still have the privacy and whatnot. Again, if you have any questions about anything I am saying, please do not hesitate to reach out again. My cell phone number, my email, all my contact information is down in the description as well as the pin comment and I can help you with a new house, resale, even if you need to be uh, put in touch with a lender just to see what you would qualify for. So coming on downstairs, I do like how open everything is, but before we talk about this, let's go ahead and go on out back and talk about a backyard because one thing you have to note when buying new, and this is why you should really get in touch with a realtor, is at least in Nevada, this is all going to be dirt. You're basically gonna get pavers just right here. So it's up to you to finish it however you so choose. I know with everything in life right now, everything is shot up in price, but figure a backyard like this is probably gonna cost you 30 grand, just with all of the landscaping, with the turf, with the pavers, with the fire pit. Just keep that in mind. You have to budget for a backyard. It's up to you to finish it however you so choose. If you wanna put a pool spa heater, figure at least, $65,000, maybe even 80, depending on how big your backyard is. I mean, you can go, you know, into the hundreds, but a backyard with pool spa heater and landscaping is gonna usually run you at least 80 grand, probably closer to hundred, depending on how big you go, how nice you go. So keep those things in mind when buying new. If you have questions, again, all my info is down below. So again, we have our living space. 
It's actually a huge TV. It's really nice. So you have your living space. If we spin directly across, we have our dining area. Now the nice thing is, this is still a six person table. You could bring it out and get a wider table and still have room here. I do like how open this is. Now with the kitchen, again, these are going to be the standard countertops and standard cabinets. They're just 36 inch cabinets with the standards hinges. So you definitely have room for four bar stools. You might be able to squeeze five in, but four is pretty nice on the spacing. If we come on into the kitchen, we have our stainless steel fridge. Usually this is not gonna come, but you'll get the oven, you'll get the hood, you'll get the dishwasher. Again, 36 inch uppers. And if you want, they can put a backsplash. I kind of like the fact that they do one home, just pretty bare essentials. They did the flooring, they did a couple little upgrades, but this is what a true home is going to look like with no options, no upgrades. You have your stainless steel dishwasher, you have your over counter stainless steel sink. Again, they have lots of options. Right here is your view. So dining, I mean, you're in the middle of everything. It's really nice how it is laid out. Here we have our uppers. I don't know if the hood is standard. Usually the hood is standard and then the small optional upgrade would be the microwave. But right here we have our four burner cooktop. We have our vent hood and we do have a decent amount of counter space and cabinetry. Right here, unfortunately, it is locked. Here is your garage. They use it as storage. Sometimes they even use it as office space, but that is our two car garage. And we have our pantry in our Harry Potter room. So there is actually a pretty good amount of storage in this house. Again, let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. Pretty nice place. Again, under 500,000, you're gonna probably be over 500 realistically just because you have the lot premium. And then if you put any sort of options, you're probably looking at 520-ish, 530, depending on things. Again, you could basically put nothing in it and be right at 500-ish, but pretty nice home. Again, leave a comment down below. What do you think about this one? Is this for you? No, yes. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. All my contact info is down in the description and the pin comment. You can do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.